Hello everybody and welcome to part 7, in this part we're just going to look at creating a simple title screen for the game. Um, just it'll say press enter to start with a cute little logo, and uh, when you press enter you'll move from one room to the other. So we'll show you how moving between rooms works and a few other things along the way. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is uh, import a couple of new sprites for this. Okay, So right click in sprite and hit create. On the first one I'm going to import uh, in our tutorial resources. Uh, the title screen.png has just got the words my first game press enter to start and this is just what we're going to show on the title screen against sort of a, a scrolling background okay um, make sure we have the origin centered on that middle center you can see the little crosshair shows up in the middle and give it a name SPR underscore title screen will do just fine and close that. Now right click in sprites again and hit create. Uh, this one I'm going to import the dark tile uh, bg underscore tile underscore dark dot png in the tutorial resources. Um, you can use whatever you want. This is what I'm going to use. Uh, doesn't matter too much about the origin point on this one. I'm going to leave it in the top left. Um, and I'm going to call it spr underscore dark tile. Uh, and what I'm going to do with this is basically tile it across the background of our room automatically. Not in the same way we used our tiles in the previous tutorial. Um, we're just going to use this one image and we're going to tile it across using the built-in uh, background layer of uh, the room editor. Okay, So I'm just going to go SPR underscore dark tile and go ahead and close that. So in rooms now, if we open that up, you'll see we have one room by default because the Game Maker project always needs one room by default in order to run. Uh, but we're going to create a new room. So right click in rooms and hit create. Okay. Um, and we're going to give this a name of rn for room underscore title, and that can be our title screen. Now, when you run a Game Maker project, the room at the very top of your list is the room that will be run first, okay? How you move between rooms after that is up to you and your game logic, but the room that's at the top of the, the resource tree is the one that will always be run first. So we want to click and drag rm underscore title to be above uh, room zero here, and we're going to rename room zero as well because that's uh, to something more appropriate like rm underscore game. Okay, so we have our title screen and we have our game room. So let's just load that up. This is our game room and this is our title screen. Now, if I were to run the game now, you'll notice that it will run rm underscore title first. So we just have a big black screen again. Uh, it's almost like we're just back to where we started, right? Right at the very beginning of the, this tutorial series. But we'll change all of that now. So just select the background layer here, and over here we can see the layer properties of this particular layer. Um, just the default background layer that's always created by default for a room. You can add more of these if you want as well. But uh, what we can do is we can assign this background a sprite. So at the moment, all this background layer is doing is drawing the color black all over the back of the screen. Um, but if we give it a sprite instead, SPR underscore dark tile, you can see it's just drawing that sprite and it's not drawing the color everywhere anymore. And what we can do is we can tick horizontal tile and vertical tile and it will just tile that automatically across the screen. If we turn off the grid here, then we can see exactly what that will look like in the game. Now what we can also do is change horizontal speed. And I'm going to, if I change that to uh, 1, and then I can preview what this will look like by clicking uh, this uh, play animation button which will play any animations, any sprites or anything like that you've got automatically in the room and we can see it's created like a scrolling uh, background effect and this also works if we change it now to minus one it also scrolls the other way, it's the number of pixels per frame to move in uh, the horizontal axis and you can do the same with vertical speed and make it diagonal or whatever you want it to be Okay. Um, I'm just going to leave it like that for now, just sort of scrolling to the left, uh, makes it look like we're moving right, which is always kind of a symbol of progress in video games for some unknown ancient reason. Um, so, now we've got this, what we're going to do is we're going to create an object that will show our title screen image, it'll fade it in nicely from zero transparency to full transparency and also give that uh, object some logic that says whenever we press enter, uh, move from this room to the game room. Okay, so we can pause that now, and let's right-click in Objects and hit Create, and make a new object for our title screen. We're going to call it OBJ underscore title, because that's what it's going to be. I'm going to set the sprite to be uh, the title screen image we had earlier, okay? That we made earlier, rather. Okay, and go to Add Event and select the Create Event. And here, the well, first thing we're going to want to do is actually set the transparency 
our title screen to be zero, okay? Because what we're going to do is we're going to make it fade in slowly over time, so you'll see how that works as well. So this uh, particular node here that's called set instance alpha, and go ahead and drag that in. Um, the alpha represents how opaque your image is at any given time, okay? So if I set that to zero, it would be fully transparent, and if I set it to one, it's fully opaque. If I set it to 0.5, it's 50% transparent, and so on. So what we're going to do is going to set it straight to zero, okay? And we're also going to go down to, uh, where's the movement of the category? Here we go. Uh, jump to point and drag that into our create event as well. What we're going to do is make sure that this object is always centered. I mean, we could just place it cleanly centered in the middle of room title. But again, you know, if we change the size of the room, the view, and so on, it's easier to do it dynamically so we only have to set this up once. So uh, because that room is um, it's going to be the size of our view anyway, so I'm going to type room underscore width divided by 2, okay, slash 2. So it's going to take our the width of our current room, divide that by 2, and that'll give us the x coordinate for this. And because we put the origin in the center, this will center our image nicely. If we do the same with our y coordinate and use room underscore height divided by 2, okay, it'll take the height of the current room, divide it by 2, and put us in the middle. Okay, um, obviously if we'd have put that in the game and run it now, it wouldn't do anything because the, uh, or it wouldn't look like it's doing anything because uh, our instance alpha is zero, so we wouldn't even be able to see the sprite. So we need to actually fix that. So go to add event and select the step event this time, just the regular step event. Now we want to find the if variable action, which I believe is here. Yep, if variable. Uh, we want to check to see um, if our image alpha which is the value that we just set in the create event, okay, instance alpha here, that changes a particular variable, built-in variable of the object called image underscore alpha, okay? And we're going to check to see if that value is uh, less, uh, yeah, less than 1, okay? So if, this, if we're not fully opaque yet, well then what we want to do if we're not fully opaque yet is increase our instance alpha, okay? Oh, I've put that in the wrong place. Make sure you connect it on the side there so that it follows with the green line. If we just do that there, it'll do this regardless of that if statement, which is not what we want. Make sure you put it over here. Uh, tick the relative box and put 0 0.02, okay? So it's gonna increase uh, the instance alpha by 0 0.02 every frame while our image alpha is less than one, okay? Um, now if I place that in the room, we can see this working. So if I go to room title, and I just drag this, um, uh, oh, the instances layer, make sure that's selected, and just drag this anywhere, really. I mean, I could try and put it in the center, but like it's kind of hard to align. I could use the grid to help me, I suppose. But I can literally put this anywhere. I can put it just off to the side here, because we use that jump to point action in the create events, so that will center it for us. So if I run the game now, you should see... Ta -da, that comes in. You can see, I'll just run it again so you can notice uh, that it fades in nicely just at the start of the game there. From transparent to fully opaque. Now there's one thing left to do and that's to make it so that when we actually press enter the game starts, okay? Because at the moment we'd just be stuck on the screen forever. We don't want that. So go ahead and add the event for key up uh, enter. Okay, and the reason I say key up is so that basically this event is going to trigger when we let go of the enter key, okay? Um, because this event triggers on the frame that uh, it detects a change from key down to key up, okay? So it's when the key is actually released. So what do we want to happen when the key is released? Well, we want to change rooms. So let's scroll down here to rooms, okay, and find this action, go to next room. You could also use the uh, go to room, go to a specific room, and uh, go straight to RM, like if you had multiple rooms and other rooms in the way, go. Uh, you might want to name specifically RM underscore game. Um, but here we don't really, we have only got two rooms in the game, so we can easily just make use of go to next room, okay? And that'll just send us to the next room in the list, which is RM underscore game. Uh, so let's go ahead and run that now. You can see this fades in here, and if I press the enter key, you'll just have to believe me, it sends us to our actual game. And there you have it. That's how you create a simple title screen uh, with a nice fade-in effect. 
Uh, hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, the next part will be looking at creating uh, enemy spawners for our enemies so we don't just have to place a handful of them in the room and we can uh, spawn them in waves over time.